Hi guys. Well, up until 10 minutes ago, it has been a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the end times, where we're at a blistering 81 degrees. We have hit the 80s today, my God. Here on, uh, what is it, Wednesday, June 15th, somewhere in there. 14th or 15th, 2022. So, uh, I am trying to beat the rain with this tilling job from hell. I've been waiting for how many weeks for this damn ground to dry out. We got more rain coming in, so... Your old, uh... Your old manic collapsitarian is at it again. Your old fart manic collapsitarian. Oh, Jesus, where I get the energy to do this. I have no clue where I'm getting the energy to, to, <laughs> to do what I'm getting ready to do. Fucking yowling cat, cat kept me up again last night. It's time to, uh, I think it's time to give that cat a, what, a decon-infused tuna souffle with a, uh, with a chaser of antifreeze. What do you guys think? Is that a, would that be a good meal to feed that fucking cat anyway? But, you know, I have gotten how many, between the emails and phone calls, uh, just the past couple of weeks from buddies about my age, uh, <laughs> Kind of begging off coming to even visit Bugs in a Jar Farm, I guess, because uh, they're just not up to it. And I'm not talking the $5 a gallon gas. It's just, uh, just the physical exertion of getting out and enjoying it while you still can. It does take a toll, I, I admit. Uh... I have no idea where I am uh, getting the energy and the stamina. I have done more work in the past month than, I mean, just hard physical labor. I have done more hard physical labor in the past one month than, I'm trying to think, of, of my 60 two-year-old buddies uh, you know the vast majority of my buddies some of the crazy shit I've been involved with here uh, just suggesting just to just suggesting the uh, the job that I'm talking about including this tilling job from hell I'm getting I'm getting ready to do I mean they would look at me like I had obviously lost my fucking mind. Just uh, probably the same look they would have given me if they were 32 years old instead of 62. But uh, so as much as I complain about my aching back and aching leg and aching shoulder and how exhausted I am and all of that, uh, I mean, it would really suck not to be able to, you, you know, I, I would, I would rather suffer through this tilling job that I'm getting ready to do than not be able to do it. Uh, it's just, uh, I mean, I, I really feel sorry for my buddies who are who were simply too, too old and worn out to uh, even mow the grass. What did what, what did my buddy tell me this morning? He goes, Hambone. He's I think he's maybe a year year or two older than me. He goes, you know, I was trying to get him to come up here and visit me at Bugs in a Jar, and he and he goes, Hambone. He goes, you got to understand, brother that it exhausts me. A 10-minute trip to the store exhausts me. 
much less uh, taking a trip to come visit you at Bugs in a Jar Farm as much as I'd love to. Uh, but, you know, I kind of know what he's saying. A 10-minute trip to the store exhausts me, too. Uh, <laughs> I find a 10-minute trip to the store as exhausting as three hours behind a fucking rototiller. But, uh, anyway, I would rather, I would rather be a manic collapsitarian than a depressed collapsitarian because uh, at least the, I had to say about mania that you get shit done uh, I do get shit done when I'm manic so uh, I'm going to get out there and enjoy my mania while I still can thinking of this old man this house I'm getting ready to pass this fucker's 82 years old. He's 82 years old. He just had back surgery. He had back surgery. This 82-year-old man had just had back surgery. Uh, he was out working in his garden all hunched over uh, a couple of days ago. I wonder if he's still out there in the garden. The uh, <clears throat> dude who's... Uh, you know, I'm still trying to get this goddamn uh, elm tree milled into lumber. So the dude who owns the little sawmill, he's 88 years old. 88 years old. Uh, I just have to figure out how to get these three big-ass logs to him. But, uh, you know, 88 years old, it's like my next door neighbor down there in this new you know this place that I bought down there in Florida uh, he's 88 no 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 he's 89 now Tom is 89 and and, and, and that fucker he does every day uh, what most 89 year olds you know to even suggest uh, but, you know, I'm going, dude, are you ever going to stop? And he goes, you know, I've heard it before. It's just like this old man, this is where this 82-year-old man with the back surgery lives. You know, it's always the same answer. If, uh, if I stopped working like a damn mule, uh, that would be it. It would be all over. Uh... So, we will see if when I'm 88, if I'm out there working in the garden, uh, they got a bunch of pallets, so I'm going to have to go, go ask them about those pallets. We're building a, a duck house I have now added to my list. I'm getting a whole family of ducks. I'm getting the mother duck, the father duck, and... Uh, she's sitting she's sitting on a big nest of eggs so we're getting ready to uh get a family of ducks and uh so of course i need to build a duck house good god almighty i had this date uh with my latest pile of fish uh woman yesterday this woman trying to tell me trying to tell me she's 69 this woman if she's 69 I'm 42 you know what I'm saying the woman is clearly older than 69 my guess is she's about 75 and uh, so went by her place uh, after lunch yesterday to uh, actually to pick up this duck house which I don't think is going to be big enough and uh, good God, what this woman has gone Whether She's somewhere between 69 and 75 years old. She's five foot four. She weighs maybe 100 pounds soaking wet. She is this petite, skinny little thing. She just bought uh, a, a fucking house in a big barn on 10 acres of land. 
that she's running by herself. She has three horses that she's, uh, <laughs> so, uh, I asked her what she had on tap to do and she started going through her list of what she had to do. I, I'm, I'm looking at this hundred pound, uh, five foot four old lady and, and she's reeling off this list of uh, plans she has for the summer that would make, you know, any 25 year old six foot two man uh, just curl up into a fetal position. Uh, <laughs> good God, I, I don't think she's looking for a boyfriend. I think she's looking for a some free labor around her farm and I just kind of politely told her I have enough damn labor around bugs in a jar farm without uh, taking on her farm oh Jesus anyway all right speaking of bugs in a jar I'm coming in I have got to psych myself into this. It really is, guys. The shit like this uh, really is 90% psychological. The, the hardest part about uh, a job like I'm getting ready to do, hands down the hardest part, is, is psyching yourself into starting. It's... Uh, the first one minute is, uh, the first one minute is harder than the last two hours. Uh, and I'm glad to see the clouds moving in and blocking the sun. We are 77 degrees in the middle of June here at Bugs in a Jar. It's always cooler back here. All right. Here we come. Let's take a look at today's project. I got to get to work up here in the back 40. I started weed whacking trails through there. Good Lord. But right now, this is what is on tap for your manic collapsitarian. And there it is. I've got to get a. Uh, I've got to get a tiller into where that big ass tractor just was. Try to break up some of these damn uh, mud clods on my new levee. Getting that tilled and raked before the rain blows in. Here it bugs in a jar farm. I would say come see me at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm, but uh, I guess uh, <laughs> I guess I've been censored enough. Oh boy, it is back to work. Get out there and get her done. Oh my God.